What's up? This is Super 430 with my first Shogun 2 multiplayer commentary. This is um, my first battle that I saved because I always like to save my first battles on the PC no matter what it is because I just like to see how I did for my first battle. I normally, uh, if I have my recording set up, I, I normally uh, save my first battle on the PlayStation. I saved my first battle for Black Ops because you obviously got theater mode. But back to Shogun. I have four units of Yaru Samurai and four units of Bo Ashugaru. And my general unit. My enemy has two Longsword Ashugaru and two Bo Ashugaru, three Yaru Samurai and to light cavalry. Oh, and also obviously it's general. I don't think you can actually play a game without using your general. But here we go. His light uh, cavalry is going around the right side of my force, the left side of his force. And I put my general down there to try and um, get his men to follow him. And then I try and get him closer to my to my Yari Samurai and then kill him but he doesn't take it and he bloody runs away because he sees my guys running down the hill. So he's got kind of a brain this guy. I think it's his first battle as well. But anyway <laughs> here's his lines. Is uh, cavalry going around the back and um, I decide to take that strategic point I suppose with my um, Yari Samurai I'm holding this hill because it's the strongest point of the map. Because um, his men, my my men will have a ranged advantage as well as a uh, advantage. My troops will have advantage on the hill. And on medium effects, I think medium graphics, because uh, it was lagging on high when I record. But I normally play on um, high or very high. Okay, here's my line again. Still taking that strategic point. His guys are at behind me in a big line to look scary because it looks like there's more in a big line. But actually there's not that much. But I do put one unit behind me so if he does charge his cavalry when he attacks me from the front um, they'll pretty much be wiped out by my whole force of Yari Samurai. Okay. Now here's his um, archers firing. Nice bow effect now that they didn't have in Rome because in Rome all they had was like the string that was in the same place and it, they didn't actually put it back but now they got nice string pulling effect which is emphasized when this game was released because it's pretty nice pretty nice pretty uh, realistic here comes his uh, Yari Samurai on the right side and in the middle and on the left so I bring up mine because I, I think I've already forgot to actually bring them up so now I'm running them up to um, take up the position that the others left in the middle. It's a nice slow-mo archer fire. I like the um, graphics of the arrows in the sky, it's really nice. And I like the slow motion effect that you didn't have in Rome, which would have been nice but you know because of the game so old obviously couldn't do it with a graphics card they had back then and all that stuff. So, but anyway, it's still a really good game. I still play Rome today. Well, not to literally today, but I still play Rome nowadays because it's such a good game. So there's a charge to the front. Here we go. Ooh, bang. So, the next game I want to be in a Total War series is obviously Rome 2, Total War. Because they already have all the game mechanics for a melee game now because they've made Shogun from Napoleon and Empire. So now that they have the melee combat like mastered using Shogun engine, they could use this engine to make Rome 2, which should um which would be easy. All you have to do is just change the units of the skin, the skin of the units, change the maps, and there you go. You got Rome too. As long as they make the servers good, like they are on Shogun. Well, now they are, because though before the Shogun servers were going mental, was going up, down, up, down. Don't know what's happening. Couldn't see the leaderboards. Couldn't see the clans. 
it's so random. But if they make the servers good, I prefer if they made their own server than using Steam, because Steam is just mental. You never know when it's going to work. I can't really join any games on Steam on Napoleon servers, so I don't even know what's happening with Steam and the, the Steam online games. I much prefer the GameSpy, even though on GameSpy you couldn't invite people or anything, but it seems to work more for me than the, the Steam does, so I reckon. Creative Assembly or Sega should make their own servers, but it's unlikely Sega will because they just got their servers just got hacked, uh, like the Sony servers did. So uh, I don't think they'll be making a server anytime soon. They'll probably use Steam again because then they can release downloadable content easily as well. It's all about the money if you think about it. So if they can release it on Steam, they can release the downloadable content to thousands of people. If they did it their own servers, it would be less likely. As I didn't do it with Rome and Medieval, well I did do it with Medieval, I didn't do it with Rome because it, like Steam wasn't about and wasn't as popular when Rome was released, so they you know released the DLC on disc. So anyway, just charging the rest of his, like the last of his army here, he's got his general charging in now. Got his last archers, his archers are out in. His general's pretty uh, happy there. Oh, he's coming down a bit now. Yeah, uh, yeah. I moved my general out because he's only got like seven units out of twenty. So I was thinking, oh crap, I might die. So I just let my samurai kill him. I like the nice uh, individual battling effects that whack me in the back there, stab him in the stomach. It's pretty nice, isn't it? All right, victory's gonna be mine. So subscribe, like, and that's the end of the video. So yeah, see ya.